Hi everyone, I'm the Gnome, and yes, today I am looking a little more animated than usual. Well, that's a good pun, because I'm playing Neverwinter, and this is my character, also called the Gnome. Am I creative? No, no I'm not. But I like uh, a synergy of business names across all of my many media assets. By the way, there's no media assets. So, I'm a level 26 rogue, I'm a halfling, obviously, because there's no gnomes, unfortunately, and I'm here to stab people. As you can see, I've got kind of a groovy mask on, and this character standing next to me is my companion. The companions are AI characters you get at a certain level, which kind of allows you to really tear through some of the single player um, quests. My character is the non non sexistly named Toots, and she's a healer. So that means I can come in, annihilate some damage, and she can keep me alive. You can get a Guardian, which is basically the tank, you can get a dog, you can get also kind of one of the magician characters. So it's a nice little uh, balance, and it makes you seem pretty strong whilst you're going through the standard kind of solo quests. So what I would like to show you is some of the combat. I'm not going to look into all the things of kind of what makes this game uh, good and also bad. It's your kind of standard MMO, but the combat's a little bit interesting. So you'll see at the bottom you've got your kind of standard hotbar of skills, which isn't all of the skills that I've got. Um, I would say compared to a WoW where you're going to have about 30 skills lined up, you um, only have a select few. So you'll see, once I pause this game, you've got a skill there, a bloodbath, a skill there, you know, assault, that's your kind of action points to allow you to do those two. You've got kind of a generic uh, skill which allows me to stealth, which means I disappear in a lovely bit of purple uh, fluff. Uh, then you've got kind of a Q, E, and R, left click, right click, and some kind of uh, medicine side of things. And obviously what one's your health bar. So really that's it. Uh, if we then have a look at what skills I've actually got, the powers, so that's kind of all you scan job. The ones you see, you've got a couple that actually aren't selected. So you do need to actually choose, and choose quite carefully as to what you want, which I very much like. Rather than just being able to do whatever you want, um, you do actually need to select kind of, and also kind of suit you what kind of play style you want. So what I'm going to try and do is get us into the dungeon, which will show us a lot of the combat and um, kind of what the dungeon's like. A lot of games, especially uh, MMOs, do rely on the kind of dungeoning because as much as they kind of want may get a little bit bo boring solo. MMOs are there to be played with other people and that's how this game should be played. So there is a queuing system which you can see at the very top there uh, under the like, K. Uh, I'm in this queue and the queuing system isn't great. It may be just because I'm a rogue and every fool is a rogue um, and normally I have trouble actually getting through uh, into a um, kind of raid this way. The best way is to kind of beg in the kind of zone chat. So maybe it's because I'm a rogue but not had the greatest successes kind of through the uh, random generation. 